Hi there, Maggie Mae here. In this video, I'm having hot pot, specifically at Leo Isho. I am so sorry, mom and dad, my Chinese pronunciation is poor, but I'm here at one of the finest hot pot places in Metro Vancouver, here to try out their happy hour and some of their premium meat selections. So stay tuned as I show you the ins and outs of hot pot etiquette and how I maximize the experience. All right, hot pot tip number one. Come with someone who knows their way around a hot pot menu, i.e. I've come with David of Picky Diner, so he's navigating and ordering everything for me. You can me. have like three different kinds of hot pot uh, soups. Like this is actually two, but you can actually choose three instead. And usually like you have one spicy one and two like not so spicy. Um, but you can have like all like non-spicy as well if you don't like spicy. That's like the beauty of like hot pot. And we also get Thank to choose you. from a whole bunch of different ingredients including their house special, seafood, meatballs, vegetables, and meat. I'm really interested in all the weird parts like the oh. kidney, blood cake, uh, Osmancium, yeah, layered beef, <laughs> and all the things I'm not oh, yeah, used to sure. eating, so this should be yeah. exciting. But first, because it's happy hour, we have some beers. This is their three flavored soup hot pot pot. We've got the mushroom, chicken, and a spicy this one numbing chili. It comes with a block of cow shaped butter. He's already melting. Melting! I'm melting! <laughs> Five seconds later he's face first in the spicy broth. So what sets Liu Yu Shu apart is that while we wait for our hot pot to boil and our cow to melt down further, we are going to start off with some fondue. Not your regular cheese fondue, but this is tomato sauce spike fondue. with this sausage into sauce. Ooh, a bib. Hot pot tip number two. Stuff gets messy. Best way to prevent your whites from turning red or brown is with a bib. And here they have their own. Oh man. Things just got really, real serious. Perfect. So now we can continue dipping. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to eat celery. We're going to continue dipping without a mess. Right, we're getting some steam and some bubbles and check out this meat ring that now encompasses our pot. We've also got a lot of our ingredients which includes veggies, some meat paste, a great appetizer snack with beer, especially in Chinese restaurants, is this marinated platter. We've got pig's ear, some tofu, marinated quail's egg, pork hocks? I think there might be a neck somewhere in here. Pig ear. What do you think of the... It's very chewy. I love the chicken. They want this. Quail egg. Right? Because, Next, I'm going to try the pork hock. A lot of fatty pork skin on this. Let's do it one more time. Mmm. It's a acquired taste. Fun fact, they say that pig tastes the most close to human meat. Take what you will from that. Oh, oh, I don't know what that is. So our hot pot's boiling and we're going to add in the raw chicken into the coconut chicken broth. So this is such a good deal, right? You actually ordered a chicken broth, but you actually have a free piece of chicken. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is a good deal. Leave the lettuce out. No one wants to eat the green. Yeah, I'm not going yeah, to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Who wants spicy? Who wants hey. spicy? So, because the beef cooks up really quick, the best way to do this is just to continuously dip it into okay. the broth of your choice. Second. About 10 seconds. There's a chart. And if you are confused about the cook times for everything, I could be wrong. <laughs> their menu actually tells you the cook time. So we have what's that? Meat, layered 
was sliced beef and lamb, so it's actually 30 to 60 seconds. Oh, ah, okay. Keep going. Alright. So the more he dips, the more sauce coats the meat. So exciting. I just found out they have a sauce bar. So you get to head to the back, you get to make your own sauce. You get to customize the flavors, the seasonings. So we're heading there right now. This is a game changer. And David's back with us to show us how to do two different kinds of sauces. Okay, I'm gonna be making an Oreo dish for the uh, spices. So, so you grab a dish. And then usually uh, the Oreo dish is very simple, right? The most important thing is actually garlic. Lots of garlic. And some green onion. Some cilantro. Sesame seeds. Uh, this is optional. It's the uh, section is the deep fried soy bean. This is actually I like it lecture flavor. So you get your little own jar of sesame oil. That's so we so just cute. have to crack it open. Just crack it open. Once again, this is for our regular hot this pot, not the spicy. This is for the spicy hot pot. for the spicy yeah. one. So, because you don't need any more spicy sauces. Got it. Usually when I do Cantonese style, I would actually use this. And then I just use like sa right? Okay. So actually a little bit spicy, spicy first. I will use lao gama. Lao gama means like old grandma. And she also referred as the goddess of China because everyone loves her. Oh. <laughs> and um... Little bit. I would actually add a little bit of mushroom paste. Soy, just a tiny bit of soy. And this is like the key. This is like what they call the Cantonese like barbecue sauce or satay. Sata. So it's like satay too, right? So if you're like in Southeast Asia, it's very popular. Of course, like the put. Okay. And lots of garlic, ginger, and green onion. That's what the candy is like. Mm -hmm. We are back at our table with our bevy of sauces. Time to dip meat into broth and meat into sauces. Hot pot tip number four or five. Typically, they are communal utensils, like a ladle and chopsticks, but when you're with friends, you can use your own chopsticks because technically, the meat boils, and boiling kills the germs anyways. And you know, who's got time to like fiddle around with different utensils? So I'm gonna pick up my own, grab some meat here, and give it a go. I'm not partial to hot or spicy food, so I'm gonna dip it into the mushroom base here. Once again, 30 seconds. It's too long. It's too oh, long. oh, 30 seconds is too long. Okay. <laughs> oh. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. When it's like. Oh, it's so spicy. When it's what color? Oh, because you, you eat it with the. Is it cooked now? Yeah. That looks cooked, right? So the one that I made for myself is this guy over here. I've just combined flavors that I liked and mangled it together. We're going to dip that in, get it really super coated. Oh, the sauces make all the difference. <laughs> hot pot tip number five. Make sure you get the sauces that you like. They flavor the hot pot. I'm gonna dare to try the spicy hot pot. So we're gonna use beef. It's gonna go in. This is the Szechuan style spicy numbing hot pot. And look, wow, that meat cooked up real quick. All right, so I'm gonna dull the pain with my sauce here. Oh, it's a little red. Let's go back in. Oh, let's go back. Go back in. I don't want it raw. Okay, that was a hot pot faux pas. Just putting it back in there. However, once again, it's boiled, so it should kill all the bacteria. All right, it's more of a light pink now. We're gonna dig in there, get some more sauce. Hopefully, dull that spice. Oh, there it is. That is numbing spice right now. You, I don't know how to describe it other than it tingles and it's like a dull burn at the back of your throat. It just, it, it gets hotter as I'm just talking. 
luckily we've got happy hour beer. And given all the meat that we have, beer is a great accompaniment to hot pot. My, my chopstick skills aren't that great, so I think I'm gonna fish around. All right, look at that. Let's try the mushroom, yeah. Ooh, dangle, dangle. Dipping the chicken into the spicy sauce here. Um, chicken is super tender. It is bones beware. So there's like different types of balls. So we just kind of scoop this in to different soup. Usually we do it separately for different cater just to different people. My favorite part of the hot pot is actually the balls, but they're actually typically the cheapest ingredient. So for value-wise, we want to get the meat, but here at Yuishu, it is quality meats being ground up by hand and being shaped into balls. These do take a little bit longer to cook up, given that it needs to be cooked to its core. Once it's boiling, then it's considered pretty Nice. So it looks like our first ball is floating. I'm excited. I'm gonna dunk him right in this sauce. Here. My first ball. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> is it cooked? Yeah, it is. Hot pot tip number six be careful. It is typically burning hot in the center of everything you cook up. Another special feature of the Yushu hot pot is they have Mi Barbie a la Lady Gaga 2010? Is that 2010? Anyways, it's a Barbie dressed in a meat gown. You can actually put it right into your hot pot. She cooks up, she's fabulous and tasty, and she has all her fishy friends at the base. David's gonna do the honors, he's gonna strip Barbie. What meat is this? This, what is, she? this is actually Angus beef. Oh, Angus beef. Oh, Only the best. Yeah. Oh no. I know, I'm like, you mm -hmm. need like sexy music. Wow, chicka wow wow. Oh, she's wearing a bathing suit underneath. <laughs> that seems very like lackluster. She's that is so sad. Yeah. And she's reaching out. <laughs> Hot pot tip number seven. Come with someone who likes cooking and therefore will monitor the pot for you and serve you. What is that? Our thing. <laughs> easier way to cook your meat is to actually use that special ladle with the holes. It's like a ladle plus strainer. So you will like dip What do we have here? So this is a three second fried bean curd. What happened is in this shape, you put it in any type of soup that you want. For three seconds, pull it up, so, and then you eat it. And it's already cooked in three seconds? Mm, it's already cooked. <laughs> it's so spicy! <laughs> Also, half the fun of Hot Pot is exploring and trying new and different meat and ingredients. It boils up the same, it tastes the same with the sauces anyways. Okay. First thing first, dip the spoon wet and then pick this up, put it in, dip it again. Same Hot Pot here. tip number seven, to kind of help cleanse in between heavier bites, there's a delicious tray of vegetables. I personally don't like the leafy greens because I feel like it changed the taste of the broth, but mushrooms I'm a fan of. So, First, shrimp. Ooh. I go here, and then this is fish tofu. It's so spicy. And then there's more meat, oyster, intermediate crab. And then there's more fish. So the great part about hot pot is that you can take little breaks when you're allowing everything to cook. You can conversate with your girlfriends. Hi. You can drink more wine. They even have a fruit bar. I appreciate good shrimp, but it is a little bit tedious to peel it. Ah! Especially if it came ah! out of a hot pot and you gotta like crack into it. Ah! It's messy. 
but I'm sure it's gonna be worth ah, worth it after I get to eat it. Maybe scoop it out and let it rest. Okay, I can do this. You can't do this. And don't forget to suck the head. Mmm, guts. Now to time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. Let's dump her in. No green things. Marginally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this is for hot pot veterans only. For the daring and for the bold, we've got some interesting ingredients. What do we have, David? Now we have like the duck blood. A bit like additive, like so to make it like look, you know, kind of like making a jelly kind of type, yeah. and then, like a gelatin, so to make it like a tofu. All right, form, okay. Right? What else so do we have? This is the uh, the goose intestine. Delicious. Yes. <laughs> so this is called like the tri tip. So you only dip like seven times. Seven like, times. Seven, okay. Right? I'll take it. Okay. Uh, this is my favorite. This is actually the aorta. 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 So part of the heart, the heart valve. It looks like squid rings. Yeah, I know, right? It has the same texture too. It's like very crunchy. I like how they also put it on ice. And this is actually cooked very short time too. So that's kind of spicy. One, two, three. Oh. Right, we're gonna go for the intestine first. Apparently there's no calories in this, so you can eat as much as you like without gaining weight, I guess. I'm using the hot sauce to kind of mask its flavor. How is it? This is weird. It's like celery, but chewy and not a chewy and bomb. Which I suspect is very similar to this. I'm gonna mix it up with a different sauce. Okay. We've got all the little like nubs and fibers into this. Oh, wow, so good. So good. That one I like. Mm -hmm. Not good. Time for pork blood. Well, gelatinized pork blood. It jiggles. Woo! Just, just take a, just take, just take a little bite. I gotta put some sauce on that. Take a little bite first. It's a mental game. Not, not as bad as I thought it was, but it's, it's just like weird. Imagine it's like dark, dark tofu. Fine, <laughs> hot, hot tip: be sure to save room for the broth. It's actually the best part because if you think about it, all the ingredients that you've cooked into the soup is now flavored the broth. I'm gonna go for. That's why the I mushroom see. one. No, <laughs> the mushroom one. But check that out. It's rich, deep color. David is trying the coconut one. Yeah. Cheers. 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 And you can also add more soup if it's too concentrated as well. And this way you create more longevity, your hot pot, and more soup. <laughs> oh, be careful though. It is hot, but that is really good. And for the savvy person wanting to save, you can actually dao bao this broth. Go home. Put a pack of instant noodles into it and voila, you have a second meal. Value. <laughs> All right, folks, despite my best efforts, I've got a stain on my white shirt. So bib aside, beware. Unofficial hot pot tip. If you've overordered too much food, use the washroom. Exit. So you can put more in. <laughs> Well, there you have it. A very successful, very <laughs> filling night at Yushu Hot Pot. That I butchered that again. I'm so sorry. I've been drinking. So thank you for watching. And as always, please hit the subscribe button for some more food-fueled fun. Oh, what, what? <laughs> 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 <laughs>